My name is Wendy Derving from Miami, Florida, originally from Boston, Massachusetts. One day I was on Instagram and um, I just happened to stumble across Dr. Hill. Um, I had just done surgery and they posted a picture and I was like, wow, right? And um, after that, I, I started following a little bit more and I got into Mia and, you know, started looking at Dr. Alvarez, Dr. Zhu, and I was just like, wow, these, these men are doing some fantastic um, work. And I continued doing my due diligence, you know, did some research and I was like, yeah, if I wanted to get the body that I wanted, these would definitely be the people I want to see. And then, you know, as I continued following, and that really made me make up my mind that this was the best place for me to come to. I'm getting the uh, LiPo 360 with the BBL. I'm nervous, I'm happy, I'm excited. Um, I'm a little sad because um, I didn't share it with anyone. I made the decision on my own and I've had to like deal with all the emotion caught up on it on my own you know the results of course is going to speak for itself but for anyone that's doing this like you want to tell you want to say you know but there's so much negative that come at you that if you, you don't block it out you'll never get here like you'll never reach this point although it's your money your time your body I feel a little selfish, I will say that. I feel a little selfish, but um, if within my 42 years I get to make one decision that I'm selfish for me, I'm willing to, I'm willing to take that on. How did I prepare? Um, to be honest, I don't feel like I'm prepared enough. Like I'm in several groups, constantly just keeping in contact with other girls that have had the surgery but still having to take myself out of their element because everybody's not the same you know so some women are like yeah I had surgery and I was up walking and it was great and then some were like I was dying I was passing out you know and still well what did you use and what did you use uh, I'll give you a little bit about my background um, I have four kids so working out yeah I don't have time for that but I do little things like, you know, at my desk, I do squats, you know, um, I try to walk the kids around the block so I get the 30 minute walk. Um, am I consistent with it? I'm gonna be honest, no. I try when I can, right? Um, eating healthy, one thing I did do, I cut, once I got my letter, I cut all sugars out of my diet. Uh, I was a little surprised because I was nervous that when I did my labs at my hemo, the hemoglobin would have came in low. And when they took it, they were like, yo, your hemoglobin is fabulous. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, I drink a lot of water. And they're like, yes, yes, that's what you should be doing. But yeah, that was, that was about it. It wasn't anything major that I think I did. Do your due diligence. Uh, make sure you know what you want. Uh, do your research. Because the research isn't just about you finding a good doctor, it's about you being informed on everything. And the number one rule, make sure you're doing this for the right reason. It's a lot of money to spend and you're not ready mentally for it. You know, money is one thing, preparation is another, but mental health with this, you definitely have to be there. Definitely, because nobody can help you with that. You have to help you with that. So that would be, yeah, that would be my, my advice to the next person coming in.